They won't let me in, Chloe. I'm trapped. Lucky days and been in the fossil. Your boy is dusty like push up a fossil. Hear that shit hurt like the noise of a puzzle. Bitch, I'm a king, I was born in the castle. We love Wu Tang, but I feel like Santana. Two seconds just like she had a Montana. I was clean, Tony Fontano. Made my wife up. Pretty shirt. I'm maniacal, but what do I know? I don't know. All I know is what I see through my monocle. What you reading? Yeah, your eyes. I'm rolling down hills in a suit through the mud. Turn my dress shoes in the fire with the wood. Sit back and relax with the blooms up. Everything I hate in the world. Can I just shut everybody up right now? You told me every idea is a good idea and needs to be accepted in this household. Whether it makes the cut or not is not the issue at hand. Okay, it's a principle. My name is uh Papa Burp. Papa Burp. What's your name, sir? And I'm a painting that you keep in your attic, so you prevent aging for all time. <laughs> I love it. And we're here today to get to the brand new Brockhampton Iridescence. Mm. And uh, we're, we're, my good sir here, the painter, he has done his homework. He, uh, you were of a fan of their first album, but you hadn't really pumped into their other works. You've been very fucking busy. Yes, this is true. Um... Brockhampton, for me, had, had been definitely one of the most recommended groups of the last maybe two years. Yeah. And um, obviously the output is insane. Um, my, my job is to like listen to new music, but it's often very localized to Australia. Mm. So I just didn't have the time. Um, tracks would come up. Um, somebody played the This Is Brockhampton playlist in my car on a road trip once. So I've heard songs and I like knew I was across like the hits. But I wasn't like, sit down, listen to the project. Yeah. Um, and so today, before coming in, when you told me that we were doing this, uh, I sat down and I went from uh, All American Trash all the way to uh, 1999 Wildfire is the, is yeah, the, the, latest, one. the latest one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's really cool to see like everything fit in to a project. Mm. Um, yeah, what are we thinking for iridescence? Like, what are what are, what are we hoping for? Um, I'm hoping for growth because saturation. We got all a lot of the same mm -hmm. on three projects, which is fine because this was meant to be. But I'm hoping like it's been nine it's been nine months. I'm expecting growth on a production scale and also on their on their scale. I mm. mean, lyrically, I don't care if they're a little similar because I've been on the same time they've been through it, so I want to hear that. But at the same time, a lot of their flows are very similar. Yeah, I mean, of course, Amir Van isn't around for this album, so <coughs> we won't get his. Gonna flow like this, and now I flow like that. Mm. I flow like this again, and now I flow like that. Yeah, for sure. So that's not gonna be there. I want more vibes. More vibes. More vibes. We, we've seen them up. We've seen them high well, energy. There's a lot of ups. You want more vibes? Yeah. Right? But not, do you want more like bare face vibes, or do you want more like like sing rap vibes? Right. More sing rap, I guess. I guess I'm just saying like Kevin Abstract, American yeah, yeah, Boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that, that album's really dope. Yeah. Um, Kevin is my favorite. I think, <laughs> the favorite, thing I like, think my favorite's Merlin Woods at the moment. Mm. I really like his totally different way of going about doing music. We've reviewed Brockhampton 1, 2, and 3, of course, and the only reason we did them is because it was the most requested thing that we do. And since then, we've been fans. We, Sandy put two of their projects, or I think three, all three of their projects in his top 10 last year, so that's mm. how much he really fucks with them. I didn't put them there, but I still fuck a lot with. I fucked more with the singles and the projects overall, so. Tell the world I ain't scared nothing. Tell the world I ain't scared jumping. 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 Tell the world I ain't sc
I'm a boy, I wanna grip a lot of tell the boys don't run from us. I've been down too long. That's Jane Smith. That's Jane Smith. Tell the world I scared nothing. Tell the world I scared jumping. Tell my boy I wanna crit a London. My boy! And I saw my head. What a way to open a record. Oh, what a banger! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that... I didn't like how they tried to make the beat anything too fancy. It was kind of just like a Posca in a way. I mean, it was Brockham, but just the way the beat didn't like... Because on their last tracks, like 97, 98, 99, mm. they always had that switch up towards the end with the R&B side to it. Yeah. Was they haven't taken that approach yet. And if you watch my past mm. videos about that, I was okay with it, but I just didn't want it all the time. Mm. So I'm glad they've started this way. This felt polished. It, it felt really polished, and I don't know if that's the Abbey Road effect, because they recorded half the half the records recorded in Abbey Road, London, yeah. um, and the rest of it in Hawaii at their that's own. That's a big Christmas change for them as well, because after doing three albums in their own house to go towards something so different. Mm, yeah, it felt it felt their energy, but with control. Yeah, I, I get that at all, and it was, it was mm. really cool hearing each of the. I think Matt Champion had the first two verses as well, so he might have. First, I'd, Matt was the entering intro verse. And then, then it was that. Kevin Abstract, I believe, on the hook. It was Dom back. McLennan on the first verse. Oh, it was Dom on the first verse. Yeah. Oh. And then Kevin had the the hook, the Tellin' Boys Don't Run From Us. And then it was Matt. And then it was And Joe then it was Bert. Bareface. Was Bareface rapping? Try, try to treat a man like baby. Feel the sing teeth in like rabies. And then Matt comes in third verse. Oh. And That's then, dope, because they got the whole crew on this first track. I didn't even notice. Yeah, and then the fourth verse is, is it Hoba? Joba? Joba. 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 Yeah. And then Jaden Smith And then, Smith then came Kevin in. and Jaden together. Jayden had like six bars. <coughs> yeah, worth it. That was great. I didn't <coughs> expect that. Marilyn Wood followed that. Yeah, Merlin, I love Merlin. He, mm. His energy was just Marilyn. Great, great Fucking, way. Mm. Great way to close the track. And really fun, real vibey. I got nothing more to say. It's just a really good intro track. <laughs> I fucking love that. I don't fuck with it. No? Why not? Will you explain to me first why you like it? I, I just, it was such a switch up. And it was, and it was what I wanted. Like, I, like we t I talked to the beginning of the video, I was like, I want vibes, I want something else. It was a vibe. And it was, it was a vibe. A it was just so throwback, like 1996 throwback. Los Angeles, because I was there. Um, yeah, no, I really liked it. The verses were a bit weird. Did you use the voice alterations? Mm. But I appreciated, I, I appreciated what it was trying to do. Mm. The verses for me, maybe not the best, but... Fuck that 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 hook and that vibe. I, don't know. I was like, this is amazing. Just the I, I admire what they're doing. Like we're mixing so many styles together, but just the the like like those keys with the those sort of real sort of like they like said '90s drum patterns mm. with that singing the verses. I wasn't really feeling it. Like, I admire what they're doing, but I didn't really enjoy this track at all. What's really interesting is that the lyrics from uh, New Orleans make an appearance again. So it's bareface again saying, try to treat man like baby, feel the teeth sink in like rabies, boy you know you don't look fly, dem gold chains turn your neck green by. So that appeared in the like first, yeah, mm. but also like cheap green. as well, because cheap gold turns your skin green. green. Yeah, Damn. so it seems like that's coming through, and they've gone through a lot, like in a year. They've gone from being like putting tapes out to suddenly becoming the biggest thing in hip hop. You know, so suddenly losing a member of the band. Like, it's a lot to go through in a year. It is. You know. Let's keep it rolling, though. Let's do it. I can't enjoy it. I'm a boy for 
inspiration I'm about to be the kids in the creation I had a man need self decoration So baby, what was the occasion? You just think you're about to take over a nation If I pull up out the tool Riding still up on the roof Where the hell is your backbone? Ducking me like that Looking like an inflatable at a car show A second ago yeah. I've never asked for the drama But I'll turn it into dollars 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 I like about 80% of that track 20 <laughs> We've done the whole switch again Yeah. I thought the production that was really amazing The way that it started heavy And then this sort of more lighter style came in the midway and then it stripped away again in the third and they brought back the first style towards the very end. Uh, I really like the verses on there. I think Matt had a verse in there. I think Kevin was on the start as well, but mm. towards the end with Joe's verse, I wasn't feeling his verse. I wasn't well. feeling that at all. As soon as, I didn't like his tone. I didn't, mm. as soon as he did that whack-a-mole line, I instantly was just like... <laughs> Your face just went, fuck. I was just like, are you fucking serious? Yeah. Uh, I normally dig Joe, but I didn't like him on here. And, but the rest of the track, I think I really fucked with. I, I think it's the production that was the standout for me, the way that it just switched so much and it kept hearing, and even into like the guitar mm. at the end. Like. The guitar was nice, I like that. Yeah, for sure, the production got really interesting towards the end, and I kind of ate my words a little bit on it. Um, the only verse I liked was Dom's. Like, it was... Was he the second? Third. The third verse. He was like talking about like, you know, the office that he was getting in 2010, and like, you know, he was like dropping stuff, and he's like, I guess it is what it is, and like, it's, yeah, it was really interesting. And just the flow really suited what was happening. Mm. Everything else I was just kind of like, there's nothing interesting for, for me. There's nothing interesting, there's nothing dynamic. Yes. Two short tracks, both a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. I like that. I, I like that now. I was skeptical at first when people started doing that. I don't know, I like short tracks as well. And I was like, no, I get it. If you can convey your message in a minute, well mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. Why try and, try and add another verse who doesn't need? It's true. Something about him. I didn't really like the execution. No? I kind of dug what they did, and I actually liked the ending when they let the beat sort of just linger a bit. Mm. But I didn't really like Kevin's, uh, the way he used his vocals on there. Yeah. And the way that it sort of started and everything, I just it just didn't vibe with me. It was just kind of cringy in a way for me. Uh, not, the good kind, not the good kind of cringe. Well, really, but what really intrigues me about it is that it's not very Brockhampton. I like disagree. It's... I think it is quite Brockhampton. Oh, do you reckon it's more Kevin? It's more Kevin. Ah, okay. Then do you know what I mean? What and it's really interesting that they're, like, they're starting to bring their... They're more so individual flair. So I feel like normally the producer would kind of have most of the most of the say in it because they kind of fit to the beat. Mm. Whereas now, like I said, maybe the more their styles are going to come through more than the producer. Yeah. Um, no, I really liked it. Like, it's not. I mean, there's a lot wrong with it, mm. for sure. Um, and there's like a lot of. That's what I mean. I think it's the execution that could be better because I could see myself growing to like that. So. I think yeah. I think it's like a speeding bullet to heaven too type situation where it's like. I, it didn't work. I see what but you're doing. I agree. It didn't work, but I, I it didn't work. But I appreciate you doing it. And like there was vibe. I enjoyed it. It was dreamy. Um, contextually, it's like cute. Like it's cute. It's a cute mm. song. You know. I just enjoy people being happy. Um, and the next track, where the cash at? I like how stripped back it was. It was pretty much just drums and bass. And Give me like a very kind of UK garage vibe. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really fucked with that. And, and it I was, thought Merlin's energy mm. really was all it needed as well. It's Merlin's just Merlin and Matt. 
Yeah, just Matt Merlin, Matt, Matt the Merlin. And I just thought for what it was, I think it's a good hype up track to perform live. And also, I just thought it was just for uh, how many more was it just executed? Perfectly? Oh, it'll just that'll crush in clubs. Yeah, like a hundred percent. That'll just crush in clubs. Like it was just it was mm. pure energy, pure mosh. And so yeah, far we're getting a lot of different styles in this album. Cause Up and down. So I feel with saturation, like I said, as you progressively get through them, it sort of switches a bit more. But they've kind mm. of they had all had this one overall sound. But here at the moment, there's so many different sounds that it's not really. Mm. I don't think it's cohesive so far, but it could definitely change. Yeah. I've been feeling defeated, like I'm the worst in the boy band. I ain't sleeping some weekends, trying to headline both weekends. Leave my niggas out sleeping. I keep the world in my hands. Oh. I really miss the old days before the cold signs. I really miss them cold days before the raw signs. I don't wanna waste no more time. I just ready to go. What? What? I fuck with this. Change the drum and bass track. Hell yeah. <laughs> There's still that symphony underneath it. My mother called me today. She said she thought she found my energy a country away. There's no debate, the road to peace is filled with snakes. You gotta keep it cool. I recognize the wolves that wanna try and leave you wool. Don't let them treat you like a window, you know you're chill. Do you want to start the game again? Start the game again. Completely froze for most of that song. No, I was the same. There was a time when I think it was towards the last switch up at mm. the end there, where it just went, where the violence came back in, and I was legit just like, I haven't been listening to lyrics. I've just zoned the fuck out. Not even, not even that. I just realized that I realized that when I'm really into something, I just freeze. I'm just kind of like, yeah. Like. I just didn't expect to uh, to go from the layered vocals and nothing else to this drum and bass track. Yeah. <laughs> And then back into something else. Yeah. And the beat switch right at the end there, that last yeah. beat switch, was crazy. Yeah. At this stage, favorite track. I uh, love the violins and, and the very, mm. like, very distant trumpets that are on there as well. Mm. Real fucking dope. I'm not super sold on the drum and bass track. I mean, the drum and bass switch up, mostly because it's just a genre I just don't really fuck with. So yeah. I've heard those patterns so much that whenever I hear them, it draws me back to just, I guess, bad memory. The way that they've delivered this track with all those switch ups and everything delivered, I think it's probably the best track so far as well. Because the first yeah. was it, but that's those switch ups, that's just them spinning. Whereas here, it's everything else. It really, it's really fascinating to me. Oh, that was the, honestly incredible. The UK influence as well is getting really strong. It is. And another yeah. track where it's so different to the rest of the album. Mm. I, I'll actually be very impressed if we go this whole album without drawing a similarity to another track. That would be crazy. Yeah. That would be crazy. I guess refining my point is that saturations, they felt, it felt like a, con like a concerted effort to have a sound mm -hmm. where it's all of us together, we're doing this one thing together, and then if we do our own things, it's on separate projects. This iridescence to this point really does feel like it's... The artists are coming through more. We are, we're going to do our thing on a record together. Hello? Uh, my favorite track so far. Fair enough. It was hard 
It was glitchy. It was grimy. It started with these beautiful violins, which were also present in the last track. Mm -hmm. But then when those drums hit with that real uh, glitched effect, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was just like, holy shit, I fuck with this. And the verse from point two, we thought it was Rico that came first, but it was Merlin with some real altered higher vocals. Yeah. And then Matt's verse on the door and Jova? Jova mm -hmm. was fucking crazy in there. I didn't really like him in the past two tracks I've heard from him just because I don't think he fit for here. He fit perfectly. Mm. Uh, I yeah. thought, and even the switch up towards the end mm. and the real the long fade out I thought everything in this track works really good together yeah I enjoyed it fuck yeah next one <laughs> I thought that was a really fucking good track I just want my record on the radio I just want to shoot videos you get it I just want to get part of it I don't care take my pulse I don't Emma? know what that is anyway <laughs> I can barely rap I can barely dance I can barely laugh I can barely hang I can barely Afraid to shit a bed, what if she want money later? Like she got laid off. Uh, hit my lawyer for some paper. I'm afraid to speak my pains. Like you lucky where you at? 14, I see them all inside of me now. Make it count with flash speeds now. Looking for ways to feed now. Making a way to be everything but right now. Beautiful. I fuck with all of it. Stunning. All of it. Stunning. I can't tell if that last track or this track is my favorite track because they're both just as beautiful as each other. Mm. Oh my god. There's just such an elevated level to this record. Like it really does feel like it's like this is the future of music in the sense that like you take people who have talent that may not necessarily have the access to, you know, like top tier studios when they start off. But when they do get it, they're just like, we can do this, we yeah. can do this, we can have that. To me, this, this album is like a really, a, a lesson in, don't try and change artists to like, fit what has, hap what has what happened, happened before. Just do what they want to do. Give them the tools and let them do it. Because holy shit. Dude, this will inspire a whole new wave of music. Like, mm -hmm. what we've heard on... What we're hearing in this album, we haven't really heard in hip-hop. Mm. Like, we've heard people do similar projects, but not in this way. Yeah, so unapologetic as well. Oh, man, I feel bad. So I'm missing... I'm probably missing a lot of lyrics on this thing, but if you if y'all know me and watch these videos, you know I don't catch this shit very much. Being a lyrical boy. I'm a production boy. Mm. Uh, absolutely beautiful. I'm loving how they brought the violins back again. All the verses were on point. Mm. Fuck, I just, I just don't know what to say. I just feel like that was just absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. We stunned. Okay. Put that wave on. Oh, holler. Sure Done. It's the best Done. Stop the track. Yeah, stop the record. Yeah. This might be. Fuck. It's gonna be up there. What's gonna be interesting is they play it well for next week. Jouvert. Jouvert. Mm. Another incredible track. Mm. And you said it there just before you were just like, after hearing this segment of tracks and all the tracks that are making more sense, like it's, everything that's happening makes everything else around that we've listened to make sense. Mm. This is sounding like a contender for potential album of the year. Mm -hmm. they, didn't come, they, came to play, they didn't come to play on this one. Man, just, it's really weird because normally when, when an artist pops off, their first line of work is considered their best line of work. And mm. as, we, as you stated, each album that they've released, or each body of work they've released, they've just honestly sounded better. Better and better. This is this is a rant, I'm sorry. But like, Brockhampton have one of the largest under-18 fan bases. They do. 
Least and the fact that the, the fact that the touring companies and the publicists didn't make it under didn't 18. make it didn't they make it all ages and didn't make it or didn't do two shows. They should have done their research and realized. That yeah, because I don't think Listen Out, which is a music festival, sorry, I should explain that. Um, I don't think Listen Out is underage no, either. It's not. No, so there's no way for under eighteen fans in Australia to see Bronk Hampton on this tour. And how are all these people that look up to these people that live so mm. far away and they finally come here and not get a chance to? Man. Yeah. Like I think my, co- my cousin's seventeen years old, mm-hmm. loves them. He's, yeah. they're his and favorite act of all time. Can't go, see them. can't go see them. I think it's fucked up too. I think they should have made it. Yeah. Cool. And all you motherfuckers out there just like, oh, I don't want all these fucking 15, 16 year olds rocking up, they'll drink beforehand, they'll make a lot of noise, they'll be drunk. Eat. Fuck, of course they're going to do that. They're yeah. young. But at the same time, they get to see their heroes. It's true. I'm happy to live with that shit, man. Mm. Um, that track was fire. I fuck with it. This is incredible. Let's get it next year. Do it. I need to step out with no frustration I need a permanent getaway vacation They got a permanent hit list, my nigga A million reasons to get rich, my nigga Hello Four more my people still try stitch you whenever they touch the mic That's what happens when a therapist is in some of our sights Ain't fight that I lean to the left, got a rock Cause they turn the other cheek when a nigga starts to die One time for the paragons of the paradigm When you underground, they go only try to undermine Use the trackers and just easy up to get into the stadium Make all that much my alien, I'm rolling like your radio Oh, nigga, 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 nigga Oh, hello Nigga, 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 nigga I'm not the reason they get rich, my nigga Beautiful. Hi. Hi, butter. Mm. Uh, another vibe. Yeah. It started off like a bit heavier. Mm. And then it melded to this beautiful R&B mm. ending. I got my wish, yo. You're getting your wish. I got my wish. Um, as, as early in there, I didn't really like some of the execution of some of the earlier tracks, mm. which I might grow like later. This one here, I really love the execution. I love the blend. I love the finish. I was thinking, when I had Kevin's like really kind of musical bit over the drums, I thought of you because it felt like, to me, it felt like that's what that earlier track mm. was attempting. I, I, that's exactly why I brought it up. Mm. It, it drew me back to that. I'm like, mm. this is what could have been executed in a manner very similar to mm. the way that's been done perfectly. The last yeah. four or five tracks have been an absolute fucking vibe and adventure mm. and so many... The production lift from the past few works is just... It's skyrocketed. They're tackling so many other genres and just <coughs> mocking them together and mm. making it really fucking work. Mm. And they're all just after spending so much time in a house together and living, like you can just tell how connected they are to each other. They just they just know how to work so well with each other. Yeah. See, I just thought of something then because I was thinking about the production for this record, mm. and they said they they their their base studio now is in Hawaii. And I was like, that's such a weird decision because they're originally Texas? Because they met on a board. They met on a chat room. I'm not sure if it was Texas they recorded in. I'm not too sure. Mm. I think they'll move to like a bigger city like LA or some shit. Yeah. But they're like, so they met on a, they met on a Kanye board. But they all were from different places, I think. But let me ask you this. Yeah. So they all met on a Kanye board. Yeah. Studio, none of them are from Hawaii, as far as I can tell. Kevin C got them all together. Mm-hmm. Kevin got them all together. Mm-hmm. Where did Kanye record My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy? I don't actually know. Hawaii. Really? Mm-hmm. Whole thing was recorded in Hawaii. That's crazy, man. Mm. I'm not sure if the Kanye influence is still... It has to be. It, I mean, it's, it, it, it's in the music, I for mean, sure. It's, you can hear it. You can but hear like, it, I don't know man. if the actions... Do you know what I mean? Dude, you know what I love? Mm. If Kanye was featured on the final track. If they, if, if, he, but if, it is, if it is, I'll lose my mind. Dude, if he came in singing like with the like, I mm-hmm. think I don't, 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't. Like if he came in singing like that, I'd just lose my shit. Yeah. If, I don't if they I record the next that. album in Wyoming, you know I'm right. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Mm. All right, let's get the next one. Let's do it. I Real 
I'm about to track. And one thing I'm really fucking with this album is on the past Brockhampton tapes, 90% of the time when you hear a verse come in, you know who it is. Mm. Probably about 80% of this album, I haven't known who it is because of the layering of vocals, mm. the two different or three different artists on there at the same time, the voice alterations, mm. it's, and even the production. Like everything's so far fucking out there that I can barely ever tell who it is that is rapping or singing. It's true. Which I think is an amazing effort to make them sound more like Brockhampton. It's an interesting contrast, isn't it? Mm. Because there, there are these elements where they're very individualistic now, but then there's, there's moments where it's just so cohesive yeah, as well. Like they're bringing a lot more of their character mm. in at the same time. Like they're all blended together. It's like, mm. let's bring this side into it, but it's still us. Mm. It's incredible. It's all, it almost kind of feels like an insight. We're getting an insight into them, but we're also kind of getting into insight into the process. Almost, it feels like that. I need fresh air, I need oxygen. Who the hell you fooling? It's so obvious. I don't feel it, I don't see it. This is nice for me. Is it on the low? Is it dancing for someone? There's a party outside. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stunning. Powerful. And lyrically the best track, in my opinion. Lyrically the best track. I would say the most important track. It's, it's really weird because to me, that, would, that could fit on saturation. Mm. Like, because that's the most saturation fan this track we've got. And it's weird because they're, they're laying bare themselves the most on this track. I yeah. I pay attention to them here. One, one of them was talking about he would never contemplate suicide because of those that love him around him. Mm. Another one was contemplating with um, some of the issues that he goes through as well. And then it's all about like just wanting so much more out of life. Mm. A really beautiful and powerful track. Yeah. And I swear, I can't remember what that track's called, but I've heard those guitar strings before. I know they've done this track <coughs> very similar to this production one, but honestly, it doesn't fucking matter <coughs> when it's powerful. It's, I think it wraps up a lot of what they've done the album already really fucking well. Mm. Well, mate, I remember, how's that not the last track though? That sounds like it's the last track. But what's know. what's coming then? I don't know, man. I feel like that's the <coughs> Kanye on a cloud. If Kanye gives me a minute of scoopy poops and saying, I love you, Brockhampton, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> And following, was it Sam Marcos that was the one that came yeah, out? Yeah, Sam Marcos. Yeah. Two great tracks that really meld well with each other. Hitting me in the feels, Brock Hampton. Oh, 100%. And Kevin's verse is so amazing on there. Yeah. And do you know Tonya? Tonya Harding. 
Is that what it was? Yeah, I think yeah, it was Tanya. Dinosaur. You yeah. never seen the movie I, Tanya? No. It's a good movie. You should watch it. And I think like... Margot Robbie. I mm -hmm. think that like the coach did something to... No, no, no. It was her husband. Oh, husband. So her husband beat the shit... Like hired guys to like beat the shit out of, the, of her competitor. Yeah. Yeah. And then she got banned. And then she got banned for life. And do you know what that has to do with... she's nuts. Do you know what that has to do with Brockhampton? No. <laughs> so what it has to do with it is um, when Amir Van did what he did, mm. it's kind of like... It's kind of like that because because yeah, like he <coughs> her husband because her husband lied to her for yeah. years and said no nah, I didn't do but it like she couldn't be the same again she mm. couldn't because of everything that happened yeah so, so like they what, can't be the same again without exactly him exactly without him so it's like yeah. this is a whole new Brockhampton like they'll never be that same mm. Brockhampton because of what happened then mm. that's what this whole track's about. Story turned into a fucking fable. I was that nigga in the room with no motherfucking cable and no table. Now my mom called me whenever she need her car no speak like I used to. I'm thinking of a way to change the world that I move through. I feel like Nicola, but I ain't been as what I'm true to. I feel for Nicola with these ideas that I grew through. Every time I see the shit, I wanna kill myself. Look at the drums like that. Kanye, here's your moment. Yeah. Come on, Kanye. Come on in. You know you want it. Let's go! Give me boots! Calling it. I feel you is the next album. I feel you. Mm. Because of what they said. That's the last. That's you. the last thing you hear is I feel you. Or maybe it ties into the next track of the next album. Because mm. if you've listened to, to oh, obviously well, all the saturations tie into each other. Mm. Even the last track and the last saturation ties back to the first saturation track. Yeah. Something really grabbed me on that track. That's why I scrammed for the lyrics. Yeah. Um, in Kevin's first verse, mm -hmm. there's a line where he says, Why the hell the BBC only writes about me when it comes down to controversy? What about three CDs in one year with no label? And we signed and our story turned into a fucking fable. Wow. Mm. That's fucking great. Yeah, and that's so true though, because like mainstream true. media, mainstream publications only really started writing about Brockhampton when the sexual misconduct in the Me Too movement mm -hmm. stuff yep. started happening so around like, them. Oh, these guys are really big now. Oh, but wait, this has happened. We can get yeah. a cash grab off this. Yeah. It was never about the music. About the about three it. records, of, about the independent output. Mm -hmm. The, the yeah. hard, hard work they put in. Mm. Um, straight away, big shout out to Ramal. Who is one of the, the main producers on these on these things? Mm -hmm. and I don't know how much I had to do with this album, but straight up, you're amazing, man, and you're probably my favorite part of Rockhampton. You, the production mm -hmm. of this album was, <coughs> I think there was a few parts I didn't like in this album, but going back to this, I'm gonna keep going back to this because about 85 percent of this album or 90 percent I really fucked with, and when I really fucked with it, it was just like top tier. Like this sort of production, these sort of artists that blend this world together, we don't hear this ever or mm. just like very near so often. And this is definitely their best piece of work. You may you may like their other stuff better because this growth is so different to what they've done. Look, what they what they did before was more of an easy listen. This is a more this is a more challenging listen. But I'm all about that. Mm. Really, the last three tracks closed it really beautifully. I fucking yeah, it was a beautiful touch. I fucking love the production on last track. Mm. Oh man, shit, I don't know more to say. Um, I think Joba had the best track verse in this best album. Best verse. His verse when he went screamo. Mm. Oh. Full on. Absolutely full on. I wanted to look up, because I know the word iridescence, but I didn't actually like it's completely the, knew what it meant. Is it the, the light effect? It's the reflect, refraction of yeah, light that causes rainbows. Mm. So I don't, know, I don't know what there is to that. I'm trying to find shit now. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm, well, I'm no, in it. Um, this, is, this is a big step up for them in every, in every way possible. There's no going back from this. No. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I, I, and I don't think they will, but like, this is, I mean, to say what, that this is like, do you know what I mean? It's really interesting, like, are these guys, because... He trails off uncertainly. Do you reckon these guys are going to be family always? Or do you reckon that some of them will split off and do their own solo project? Like, do you reckon some of them will want to do solo stuff? No, they, they already do that anyway. Not at the moment. Gavin's doing it for years. Mm, Kevin has released a solo project since he joined Brockhampton. That's true. I wouldn't yeah. mind seeing Joba do like a solo record. I want the most to 
I don't know. I think Mac could quite easily. Mm. I think I'd like to see Merlin the most <coughs> style and craziness the most. Mm. I don't know, man. I don't know what more to say on this. I think this is a, a really fucking solid record overall. And I can see a lot of people putting this as the best album or one of the best of the year. And I can see how this is going to influence the next wave of hip hop in the next five to ten years. It's true. And so, like, minimal on features as well, like Jaden Smith. Well, they don't need to because they got themselves. Mm. And if you if you grab features, like it was like, do we need them? Yeah. Like, so, because a lot of time artists get features because it's just them. But yeah. there's so many of Brockhampton, they don't need them. It's true. They had Jaden Smith, London Community Gospel Choir did all the the nice. backings. Um, Serpent with Feet, nice. there's another one yeah. on there. Um, and Jas singer. Jasmine Sullivan. Serpent what do I know Jasmine singer. Sullivan from? Uh, sh yeah, that's some Kanye stuff, isn't it? Yes, and also Wale. Yeah. Well, sure. <laughs> stuff yeah. I care about. She's done. She's done a lot of stuff. Brockhampton, Yale, incredible. We jungle beats. Um, gonna re listen to this again and again and again. For all incredible. eternity. Incredible. Great stuff. Mm, so muddled. <laughs>